love to walk, hike, or bike surrounded by beautiful nature, then you're going to love today's video as we tour Brown's Ranch Trailhead here in Scottsdale, Arizona. Welcome back. Uh, I am shooting actually on location at the um, in the parking lot of the um, Brown's Head Ranch Trail System. So Brown's Head Ranch uh, Trail System is located in the northeast portion of the Scottsdale Valley and it is part of the uh, McDowell Sonoran Trail System here um, in Scottsdale. A little history about this area. Um, it was founded in 1917 by uh, E.O. Brown, who was an, actually an entrepreneur here in Scottsdale. It actually was um, a cattle ranch at one time. In its heyday, it was it amassed about 44,000 acres, and they were running between 3,000 and 5,000 cattle out here. So a pretty substantial ranch. Um, Descendants of his stayed in this area and on this property until the 1970s, and then after that, it was it changed hands several times, and then in, it was finally purchased in 1999 by the city of Scottsdale and made part of our preserve here up in the uh, Sonoran Desert. All right, so this trailhead offers um, a little bit of everything. It actually is pretty extensive. The trails here will connect to other trails over at, at, by Granite Mountain, and then there's another new trailhead at near um, 91st and Dynamite. But this, you can pretty much walk on this for as far as your feet are gonna take you. Um, but m most of the terrain is pretty flat. Um, there's It's l little pebbles. When you do um, tr try and go up to the summit, um, it will get a little bit rockier and um, on the back side too it's it's a little bit lumpier and rockier so you just have to make sure that you have the right equipment so while you're out hiking or walking here which who you will find on here are people that are walking their dogs they are allowed but you do have to clean up after them um, you might see people on horseback or a lot of mountain bikers come out here as well um, no motorized vehicles of any sort are allowed on these trails the trailhead here is fully functional that means that it offers men and women bathrooms that has uh, water, a water fountain, and one that you can fill up your water bottle as well. There's also um, a fountain for the pets, so for horses and dogs. Um, also, there is a shaded area, so when you're done hiking, you can come and cool off, stretch out. Um, there is some historical information up in the trailhead as well, and sometimes you'll find a guide that will give you a little bit more information. They're not here all the time, um, but they are here on occasions. Usually on the weekends, you'll find them here. So if you live in the area and have never hiked here or you're just visiting, I highly recommend that you come and check out one of the trails that's offered here in the Phoenix Scottsdale area. They are, they are can be as easy or as difficult as you want. Like I said before, this is considered a moderate challenge or moderate intensity. And that's really if you just do the summit. If you want a, a low intensity, you can just do the flat parts and just walk as far as your little legs will take you. If you'd like to learn more about all the great things that the Scottsdale area has to offer, make sure to subscribe to our channel below. We usually drop videos on Tuesdays, filling you in on all things Scottsdale, houses, amenities, features. So uh, thank you for watching. And again, make sure to download those hiking tips in the link below. I think you will find them helpful, especially if you've never um, hiked in this area. You definitely want to be, you want to do it safely. So. Again, my name is Michelle Miller with Michelle Miller Realty and Berkshire Hathaway Home Services, Arizona Properties. Happy hiking.